Let's look at another definite integral. Here we have the integral from 1 half to 3, square root of 2x plus 3, x dx. Now, the standard substitution doesn't work here, so we will try the miscellaneous technique. So in this case, we'll let u be the square root of 2x plus 3. Upon squaring, we get u squared is equal to 2x plus 3. And then we can take the differential. 2u du is equal to 2 dx. The 2's absorb, and we get u du is equal to dx. So now the only thing that we have left, we've got the limits and the x. So here we can solve for 2x. 2x will just be u squared minus 3. And then, of course, multiplication by 1 half, we have x is equal to 1 half times the quantity u squared minus 3. And then, of course, with this technique, we can go ahead and change the limits. Uh, when we put in 3 here, uh, we get 6 plus 3, which is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. And then when we put in 1 half or substitute 1 half, we get 1 plus 3. Square root of 4 is 2. So now we're ready to transform the integral. So we have lower limit 2, upper limit 3. The radical is u. And then we have x, 1 half, the quantity u squared, minus 3. And the dx is u du. So just to clean this up a little bit, we'll go ahead and extract the 1 half and multiply the u's to give a u squared times the quantity u squared minus 3. And then, of course, this is the power rule if we go ahead and distribute. So we get u to the fourth minus 3u squared. Now, again, add 1 divided by the new power. We'll have the 1 half, and then we'll get u to the fifth divided by 5. And now here we get uh, u to the third divided by 3. The 3 is absorbed, leaving us just u to the third. Now here, uh, I chose to reduce this a little. Again, you do not have to do this. Since we have the fractions here, and 3 doesn't divide the 5, it's probably best to go ahead and clean it up some. So I go ahead and factor the 1 fifth out of both terms and a u cubed. So the 1 fifth times the 1 half is 1 tenth. And then the u cubed factor will leave a u squared here. And then, of course, here the u cubed is gone. But since we factored the 1 fifth, we need to compensate with a 5 here. So this might make the uh, evaluation a little bit easier because we move the fractions outside. So now when we substitute the 3, we get a 27 and a 9 minus a 5. And when we substitute the 2, we get an 8 and a 4 minus a 5. So very simple. And of course, reduce a little. This will be 27 times 4. And of course, here we've got a negative 8 and a negative 1. Negative, negative will give us a positive 8. And here, if you like, you can go ahead and factor the 4 that we have in each of these terms. So this will be a 4 over 10, at least behind a 27 and a 2 here. Uh, 4 over 10 will reduce to 2 fifths. And then, of course, this will, 27 plus 2 will give us 29 for a final answer of 58 over 5. So what's nice, again, about this technique is we evolve the substitution process in the fundamental theorem to help us work this problem in a way that's clean and efficient. And we are done.